Hi, I'm Juan Pierre, Major League Baseball player, and today's tip is reading the pitcher. Today we're going to talk, talk about reading the left-handed pitcher, which can be difficult because a lot of lefties have different type moves, different type styles, but it's three things I like to look at to, to, to put them in categories. My first thing I like to look at the lefty because it's, they can be deceiving because they can look at you all the way. So the first thing I like to look at is the heel. If the heel crosses over the back leg, he has to go home. So it's not too many guys that still do this, but you might catch one every now and then that does that. So once this heel comes over, you can go, you can steal the base. If he, pull, if he goes over, then they should call the ball. 99.9% oh, .9 of the time, they will call the ball. So we got a picture just to show you what it looks like from the, pitch, from the mound to first base angle. So we got Oscar here who's going to do the heel. Once his heel crosses, you go. You don't wait till, the, till he throws the ball to home plate. So he's in his stance. Once his heel goes up and crosses, you go. You go. You make sure the heel crosses first. I think I was a little quick on that one. So you go again. We're going to do it again. The heel crosses that back leg. You go. Go. He cannot come over. So I know it seems tricky because you think he could pick, but if he picks, it's going to be a balk. So then you got some guys that, that's a little tricky that they do, the knee goes and the heel stays. So it's kind of tricky. So they like this and they go like this and the heel stays. And when that happens, he can still come to first base. So you have to just be aware of that. So he's here and when he does that, just be aware of that. But a lot of guys don't do that anymore. We're not gonna make Oscar do that. He's a little nervous about that one. So we're gonna just go, that's the first thing. Second thing is a head guy, head guy. When he's come set, if he's looking right at you at first base, he's going home. They're trying to look right at you so they can um, pause you and think you think they're coming over there, which they can, but if you do the homework and you know once he comes up, no matter what, if he's looking right at you, he's going home. And when he looks at home, he's going to first. So you right here, and if he turns like this, then he's coming over. This is a head guy. So you might find a guy that's, that's a head guy. Now, all, none of these are, 100% sure which guy is which. You got to do a little homework and watch the course of a game and see what he does. So we're going to have Oscar to be the head guy. So he's going to do whatever he, he has, and I have to read him. So whichever way he goes, I got to know. He's looking right at me, I go. You just got to be calm and, and be confident in your thing. So when he looks right at you, he, he goes. So he can pick, but like I said before, the homework has been done, so you already classified him as a head guy, so that's what you do. Here we go again. He's coming over. See how his head has stayed at home? They, they're trying to deceive to make you look like they're picking up their target to go home. So that's, that's the, that's the uh, head guy. That's what I like to classify those guys in. And they have a couple guys that's like that. They have to do that. Give me one more. Whatever you want to do, let me see if I can get you. Let me see if I can get you. Oh, he's coming over. Oh, he tricked me. Okay, nice of me. They, that happens. So once that happens, good he did that. Once that happens, you see him, then you make sure you shuffle back off and get your lead. So that's the second guy is a head guy. And the last guy I like to call him is the upper body guy. You got to watch his upper body. His upper body tells you. If he comes set and his upper body is straight, kind of leaning back, he's coming over. Because I don't know what pitching coach in – no baseball would tell a guy to come up like this and throw home. You always got to, pitchers always got to tuck, tuck their shoulders and go. So that's the key. He's back here. He's coming over. If he tucks, he has to gather himself. He's got to gather himself on his leg. He's got to gather himself. He's going home. So if he's here, he's going home. So that's to an upper body. Once again, here, throwing to you. He tucks, he's going home. So we're going to try to get, I'm trying to not get picked off right here. So this is the third guy we like to call. This is an upper body guy. Back, back. See how he leans. When he gets up to the top, he leans. Now go home. This kind of guy, he's got to bend over. He's got to gather himself and go. See how he tucks. This is a tricky one too. But usually if you, if you pay close attention, again, if you classify him as something, you got if he's a uh, upper body guy, you're not looking at the none of, none of the other stuff, the heel, 
uh, the crossing of that because you know he doesn't cross. He just stays straight up. So that's the third guy. And none of, this, none of this is absolutely sure. That's the tricky with these lefties. They didn't always come over at some point, and you never know. And if they're not a leg guy, a heel guy, a head guy, or upper body guy, then you just flip a coin. I like to flip a coin, 50-50 chance. You just, if he picks over twice in a row or something, you, I like to, well, well, he's not coming over three times in a row. And you just take the chance, and sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. That's, at all beans, you try to stay away from that one, because that's a straight up crap shoot. That's rolling the dice right there. So I like to stay away from that one. But I like to classify him, again, as a heel guy. If that heel crosses that back leg, he's got to go home. He's looking right at you, he's going home. And if he tucks, he's going home. So that's the way to read the lefties. If you get those two, three down, you'll be stealing bases in no time without sliding. Everybody would think you'd be a mastermind. So that's the tip of the day, reading the pitchers. <laughs>